All right, I'm St. Olaf College uh, Assistant Athletic Director for Strategic Communications, Michael Abdel. I'm joined today by our new head men's soccer coach, Travis Wall. We're going to do a little get to know you uh, video with him. So, Travis, thanks for, for taking the time to do this. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, first, just give us a little little background on yourself, where you came from, and what, what got you to St. Olaf College. Yeah, uh, you know, I was, I was born in uh, Columbus, Ohio, uh, spent most of my life there. Um, Went to a, a great college out there, Ohio Wesleyan. Um, upon graduation, moved out to Minnesota for a couple of years, uh, trying to chase a dream um, that, that only lasted a couple of years. And, and uh, after my playing career was done, um, I, I moved back to Ohio, um, where I was at Xavier for a year, um, helping them out. And then uh, I spent the last four years back at my alma mater, um, Ohio Wesleyan. And then you had a really distinguished playing career there, and worked with one of the the winningest Division three men's soccer coaches around. What did you What did you take from him or your time as a player and student athlete there? Yeah, you know, um, I'm very fortunate to to have had the opportunity to to go to Ohio Wesleyan and, and to to play for for Jay. Um, you know, I I feel very fortunate to have had the teammates that I had too. I mean, I uh, I had an unbelievable four year career that had some highs and some lows to it, but. I got to play with some of the best, you know, soccer players in the country, but also some of the best people in the country. And, you know, transitioning into a role as a coach there too, it was fun to experience the the other end of that, where I got to coach some of the best players in the country and then work alongside one of the the best coaches in the country. So, um, you know, I uh, I'm, I'm very grateful to the opportunities that I had there, and and I think our those things are a big reason why why I'm here today talking to you. And what made St. Olaf somewhere that, that you were attracted to? What made you want to take the next step here? Yeah, you know, I, I remember um, I remember the Mayak from, from my last uh, my last stint in Minnesota about five or six years ago. And, um, you know, I remember coming out here for an away game and, and really taking notice of it. And that's the first time I had really um, been on campus ever and, and gotten to know it. Um, and I've, I've followed the Mayak ever since, and, and I've followed the success of the program. Um, and uh, when this opportunity came, um, it, was, uh, it was an opportunity that, that uh, met a lot of the things that I was looking for um, in terms of the, the academic prestige of the school, um, the, uh, the commitment to athletics, the commitment to the student athlete. Um, it, it checks so many, so many boxes. And, um, you know, and then when I came out here um, for my interview, I, I think I left feeling most excited about the people that I came into contact with. Um, whether it be members of the search committee or, or other people that I met along the way, um, it was it was just a very welcoming environment, and um, it, it's also made the the first couple of weeks here pretty pretty fun. Yeah, you're a couple of weeks into the job. What have you done so far? What have been your main focuses? Um, there's a lot, you know. Um, uh, I think one of the first things was just get in front of the guys and and trying to uh, trying to you know plan our plan our vision for for where we want to go. Um, you know they're they seem to be pretty hungry and, and pretty motivated to 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 get back to you know where, where this program was only only four years ago um, and uh, you know that's that's another thing that um, not to go back to the last question but uh, another appealing thing was was the success of the program and and I'd be I'd be remiss to to not you know thank Kurt Anderson for for what he did for not only building this program but but also maintaining this program for such a long time. Um, and, and the alumni base, and there, there's just been so many good things that have happened here over 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 Kurt's watch or under Kurt's watch, and um, that played a huge role in this. And you know, trying to reconnect with those uh, with the alumni, and trying to get the guys going and all in the same direction. Um, you know, it's been a busy couple of weeks, but it's 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 been a fun couple of weeks. And then you've seen with Kurt, I guess, where he's taken this program. What are the goals that that you have to try to build upon that, or how do you see yeah. what's possible here? Um, you know, I, I'm I'm not going to say I want to win X amount of games or, or measure our success next year by, um, you know, making the conference tournament or, or any any measurable thing right now. I mean, it's we're in, we're in the off season and we got to I think first things first is and that is we got to get our, our culture right. Um, and that's uh, you know it's it's a commonly used expression in the sports world is, is making sure your culture is right and um, it's because it's foundational to uh, to any good program or good business is they typically have a very healthy and, and fun and competitive um, work environment and um, I, I think uh, I think in terms of where I think this program can go it's it's you know um, 
the, the, the sky is the limit in terms of they've already been to a lot of the places that we want to go back to and, and we'd like to we'd like to keep going a little bit further um, there's no timetable set on on when that's going to happen but um, with the new field with the new locker room with you know just so many exciting things going on at St. Olaf right now um, you know we have every reason to believe that that we can um, you know we can uh, we can keep playing into into November and, and hopefully sometime in December.